Hi, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and today I want to talk to you about belief because it is such a powerful thing. Belief is so powerful that if we go to our doctor and our doctor says to us, you know, you have cancer and you have six months to live, the chances are if you buy into that, what your doctor says, and you trust this person, that you will say, wow, I have six months to live. And that within six months or possibly less, you will die. And this happens time and time again, where people believe what they're told and that is what governs. I can tell you lots of stories. When I used to go to the doctor on a frequent basis, when I had lots of illnesses, I. Wow, so I'm gonna have to readjust this video. Sorry, everybody, and I thank you for staying here. Okay, <laughs> my internet outside with cars driving by, it's affecting my, my service, so I apologize for that. Let's see if I can get you to stay, stay. Okay, so back to belief. Um, so if someone tells us, maybe a psychic tells us, oh, you can't manifest where you're living, it's impossible and you believe that that belief is going to block you from being able to manifest where you're living i'm i'm going to tell you two stories one my uh ex-husband rich rasuda my daughter's dad uh, when i first met him the, almost the first thing he told me was you know my dad died at 52. he drank himself to death he smoked himself to death he had all kinds of addictions and I don't want to die at 52. So I'm going to do everything in my power to not die at 52. And now sadly to say this man, he was well educated. He was a fitness teacher, a phys ed teacher. So he knew how to be healthy. He gave up red meat. He didn't drink maybe a beer on occasion. Um, he had pizza from time to time and, and ice cream, but he had a healthy lifestyle. He was very fit. He was a runner. He did marathons and half marathons. He ran the peach tree every single year for 27 years and three months shy of his 52nd birthday, he died. So when we focus on something repeatedly, repeating it in our head, I don't want this to happen. I don't want to be like my mother. I don't want to be like my father. What happens is the old what you resist persists. So you may try to not be like your mother, but what ends up happening is you're more like your mother than you ever dreamed of because you're resisting. There is a book written called The Biology of Belief by Bruce Lipton. Now this book I highly recommend, very scientific, but the bottom line is, and I'll boil it down to a quick little paragraph. In this book and his study, Dr. Lipton took DNA out of cells. And you know, what he was trying to prove was that just because your mother had cancer or just because your father had myeloblastic leukemia like mine did does not mean that you will have it because it's the belief that we will have what our parents had. When he took the DNA out of the cells, what he discovered was that the cells thrived. The cells did fine. The cells didn't have to have the DNA. So the belief is whatever we believe is what governs. So for example, you know, maybe you've been hurt by, by men or women. And so, you know, you may think, well, you know, I can't, I can't pick. Um, I'm a bad picker. I can't choose. Well, that will become your belief and that will become your reality. So I've got some solutions for you. But first, a little bit more about my family. So my dad used to go to, to work and read the, the newspaper cover to cover. Now, I haven't read a newspaper in over 20 years. I, I don't feel that that's what I need. I don't do it because I don't want to be inundated by all the negativity that is in the newspaper, nor do I watch the news. I get my news from Stephen Colbert. 
I get a smile on my face while I hear what's going on in the political arena. And anything that I need to know will come to me. It's all I need. So my father, though, and, and there's probably a really good reason why I don't read the paper. My father used to read it cover to cover, and he would come home, and he would sit at dinner, and he would be eating his food and talking about the latest discovery that caused cancer. You know, peanut butter causes cancer. And I'd go, well, Dad, I like peanut butter. Um, and then he'd come home with another story. Do you know they're saying bacon causes cancer? And as he's eating, he's talking, he's imbuing his cells with the belief, the belief in cancer. My food will kill me. My food, no, let's just, let's just negate that belief right here because if you eat a healthy diet and you live well and you meditate and you exercise and you're happy, Guess what? You could live to be 110 if that's your belief. My mother's belief is I'll never get cancer. I don't need a mammogram to tell me that I have it or don't have it. My mother is 95. Never has she had a mammogram. And when you think about it, every time you go into the hospital for a test, you are getting a test to find out whether you have something. And I'm not saying to not get tests, but what I am saying is, while you're in the hospital, you need to keep thinking, I am well, I am healthy. There is nothing wrong with me. I am perfectly healthy and well because just the simple act of going to a hospital and laying in a screen, you know, where you get a PET scan or a, um, a you know, an x-ray or a mammogram, the belief is Oh my goodness, I hope I don't have cancer. I hope there's nothing, well, so you have to think with your mind, I am perfectly well, I am perfectly healthy, my test results are gonna come back stellar. I am so healthy, I'm so well, I'm so vibrantly healthy, yay, thank you. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to tell you about my mother, very strong and powerful woman, 95, still lives alone. And when my father was coming home with those stories about cancer, my mother said, oh, goodness, I don't believe in that at all. So my mother stated, I don't believe that. And here she is. My dad has been gone for almost 30 years. My mother lives on. So in order to negate those things that are floating around in, in the world, you know, the fear of getting cancer, the fear of getting HIV, it is the belief that we will get it. I don't get a flu shot. You know why? Because I don't believe I'll get the flu. I don't believe I will get the flu. So why would I in inject something that I don't know is in something into my body that I love I don't do it. And what do I say to myself? I'm healthy. I'm vibrantly healthy. Six sickness does not reach me. I am vibrantly healthy. Okay, so what do we do when a psychic tells us something? You cannot manifest in that house. I say, I don't believe that. That's not part of my reality. And let me tell you something else that when we're throwing a pity party for ourselves, when we feel like a victim, and I did for a lot of years, over, well, I guess probably 40 plus. So while I was feeling like a victim, I was carrying the energy of victimhood or victimization. And what did I attract? I attracted men that would abuse me. I attracted men that would cheat on me. And as soon as I let go of that belief that I was a victim, all of that stuff faded away. So what you believe is what governs. And part of the thing that I do is energy clearing. So I help to clear people's beliefs, the ones you don't want, not the ones you do want. I want you to believe that you're vibrantly healthy, that you'll live to be 100 or 110. And the stuff that you don't need, that's what I help you get rid of. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and I am a hypnotherapist. I am a life coach. I help women and the men who love them 
find happiness in all areas of their life. So if you're disillusioned with your life, if you're disillusioned with your relationship, come see me. Send me an email. My email is jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail.com. My website is jenniferelizabethmasters.com. If you have questions about anything that I have just broadcast, I would love to hear from you. And I hope you have enjoyed this. I have a couple more things up my sleeve. So there is going to be another video soon. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hi, Carla. Hello, Brian. Let's see who else. Jacqueline. Hi. Hope you're doing well. And I think there was uh, Mr. Brinkman was there earlier. So thank you so much. I love you. And um, the other thing that I do, just a little secret. I am vibrantly healthy and I'm getting younger and younger each day. I'm 63, I don't feel like it, my body doesn't hurt, I have no aches and pains, I am vibrantly alive, and although I may have a few, you know, of those, what do you call them, the, the like the rings around the tree, you know, those things that, that speak the volumes that you have lived, I've lived a lot of life, and so, you know, I have a few things to show for it, but, I am young in spirit and certainly young at heart, and you can be too. I love you. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thanks for watching.